You're participating in his, in his exploitation. Starbucks how has better you? working conditions for their employees, though. Well, how do you know that? Because they have like a $15 so, minimum wage. Wait, so Starbucks, Starbucks billionaire good, Amazon billionaire bad. Just so we're true. Just so we're true. I would not like either of them to be billionaires. Then why are you buying Starbucks? You're, you're participating in the market economy. Well, it's impossible to buy things without participating well, in the market economy. You could, have, you could have went to a farmer's market. You could have bought something outside. There's no of, farmer's market here. There's no, there's no local coffee in Columbus at all. No, there's not no near my house. There's no non-billionaire coffee distributors. No, and I you think that just... Distrib- <laughs> you could have gotten local... What's up, pizza? Hope you guys are feeling... Go today, guys. We're back here with a new video today, guys. We're gonna be checking out Charlie Kirk destroys upright socialist students. I call him Charlie Kick because I'm kicking us. Let's get right into today's video. If you have a cure to diabetes, yeah, wouldn't you want to sell that cure in the marketplace? I would want to distribute it to everyone for free, but how, that's why I'm in the field because I would. Can you name I want... one example of one thing that's ever been given out for free by the government? Because there's nothing that's free. Paid for by somebody at some point in some lot bundle of distribution. True. Okay, I mean, how about Jeff Bezos, who has like fifty billion dollars or something? Can, he can afford to pay for that, billion. right? How did Jeff Bezos get his money? By exploiting his laborers and not paying yeah, why, them enough. Why, if he's exploiting them, why do they work for him? Because they don't have another opportunity but to get a job. There's more job openings available in America than actually people we have to fill the job. There's seven million job openings. People at Amazon say they love their jobs, their wages are going up, they get they get health care, they get health insurance, they get promoted. I mean, average, you, average you wage cannot at honestly believe, like, can hour. you really in, in good faith say that that's a, a good you, job that have, people like? Have is, you ever used Amazon? No, I actually, Never. no, I don't but buy from use, them. You use Starbucks. Okay. So Starbucks, that's a billionaire. You know how rich Howard Schultz is? He's worth $5 billion. So you're participating in his, in his exploitation. Starbucks how has better you? working conditions for their employees, though. Well, how do you know that? Because they have like a $15 so, minimum wage. Wait, so Starbucks, Starbucks billionaire good, Amazon billionaire bad. Just so we're true. Just so we're true. I would not like either of them to be billionaires. Then why are you buying Starbucks? You're, you're participating in the products. market economy. Well, it's impossible to buy things without participating well, in the market economy. You could, have, you could have went to a farmer's market. You could have bought something outside. There's no of, farmer's market here. There's no, there's no local coffee in Columbus at all. No, There's not no near my non-billionaire house. non-billionaire coffee distributors. No, and I you think that just distrib- <laughs> could have gotten local, huh? You could have gotten that guy donuts. They don't. Have, they don't serve Starbucks coffee. The point is, it's very easy to critique billionaires while you swish your Starbucks latte back and forth. Made possible by a guy that wanted to become a billionaire. Why? Because of a profit motive. This was made possible by the workers who made it, not well, by some guy. No, it's guy. actually made possible <laughs> by you, the consumer. The workers wouldn't have a job if you didn't buy their product. And guess what? It took Howard Schultz to risk everything, take out two mortgages on his house, to start Starbucks in Seattle on a total idea when people thought he was nuts and crazy so that you can sip your latte and tell me how much you hate capitalism. I actually never said that. You said that the, you said the workers should own the means of production and you said that you want government to run healthcare. Hmm, so. I, I didn't say that either, although I do believe that the workers okay. should own the means so of production. Do- it's really, really beautiful how he really handles... Uh, this socialist, he knows how to break it down for them. In fact, he used what she's holding to answer her question. Like she, she, she don't believe in capitalism. She believe in um socialism. When worker, she own the method of production, but it does not work that way. This world can never work that way. You are already buying the products and making a system of capitalism to flow effectively. If you want to be a socialist, according to us, Charlie Kick, I've said it in this previous video, just go stay on the farm. Don't participate. Don't use an iPhone. Don't use, um, don't stay, don't go stay in the house. <laughs> go stay on the farm. Um, don't use any water, electric car, bill. Don't, don't use anything. Don't use motor, don't use car. Don't overdrink Starbucks. Just go stay in the farm and, and work out your, your wage and earn your living your own self. <laughs> So if you think about it, like there's no how um, socialism can actually be very, very effective because of the world we are in right now. We have to be realistic. I see the student point of view. I, I see where she's coming from. Uh, it's just that if you think about it, she's kind of like looking like a hypocrite. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it that way because... You are, you are actually participating in 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 a, in a system you actually um, despise. You are you are part of the production. You are, so you are part of the you are part of the consumers. You are you are part of the system. You are you are despising. You are hating on a man that is a billionaire because you feel like his his lab, um his workers are not earning as much as his is earning. You really don't know where 
how that man gets to where he is right now. You feel like he's exploiting for them. He's not. Amazon, Jeff Bezos, his workers are happy working for him. Starbucks, his workers are happy working for him. If they are not happy, they will quit. You understand? So uh, her point of view, it's kind of like bizarre. And I love how Charlie handled her, um, put her straight points and tell her how, how capitalism works and she should not just hit on um, Jeff Bezos or Starbucks owner. <laughs> she should not hit on them. This was actually interesting to watch. I loved the entire video. Um, it was beautiful. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku 